Let's go ahead and check my sent messages to see if, yep, we sent exactly what we meant to, so. Okay, so for the final part of the project here, we want to send the emails. And the way to send emails is actually very similar to the way we received emails earlier in the tutorial. So basically going to create a new file called send email. And let's go ahead and open that up. So essentially we're gonna do the same thing as the read emails, but with some slightly different you know, functions and parameters. So let's go ahead and just go back to the GitHub repository and check out how to send a message. So we're gonna just copy this little snippet on how to send a simple message. Paste that in here. Okay, so as you can see, we have some parameters here and then we call this send message function with the parameters. Um, and then what this double star means is basically each each item in the object of parameters gets mapped into the function parameters. So the function takes all these parameters and we have an object with all these parameters and an easy way to insert an object into a function like that is to just do these double stars because otherwise we'd have to iterate through all the keys of parameters and access the variables one by one. So don't wanna do that. We have this little double star notation as seen in this coding snippet. Okay, so as you can see here, there's a couple things. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this message plane feature and we're just gonna have message HTML. Okay, so we can basically send a full HTML. Only one problem with this is that new lines we're gonna wanna separate through HTML syntax. So maybe if you know some web development, you'll know that this little BR break tag is what we use to create a new line separator. So we're gonna have to use that, but essentially let's just test this out. So I'm gonna put in my email here that I use to authenticate. And then maybe I'm gonna send it to my school email for college. Okay, and then Simple enough, let's just run a Python send email. Okay, so didn't really get a message or anything, so we're gonna wanna print something out eventually, but let's go ahead and check my sent messages to see if, yep, we sent exactly what we meant to. So look at the parameters, subject my first email, then the body, this is an HTML email, and then signature true. So we're gonna include my signature here in every email. So we can turn that off or on if we so please. Okay, essentially we have discovered what it is to send an email. Um, let's try with a sample email. So let's take this for example. Hi, Professor Melton. Sample email. Okay, so say we try to send this sample email in the message HTML. It'll kind of work, but the thing is with these line breaks is that it will just kind of ignore them. So what we actually want to do is replace all the new line characters with a BR tag. And we're gonna save that into the original sample email variable. And then we're gonna run the file. Send email.py. Okay. Then if we refresh, look at the newest email, and we see that the breaks have been added and everything looks good. So to recap, we can read the emails to get a sample, which we saved already. Then we can write an email with an OpenAI chatbot, and we can send an email. So, what we're gonna wanna do is basically combine some of these features so that we can 
kind of get an email bot experience that basically automates the whole thing. So in order to do that, we're going to have to save these types of things into functions. So first thing we're going to make into a function is the right email. So we already have a function, but we want to wrap the whole thing into another function. So maybe def create email. and then put all of this inside. And once we're done and we have the final version of the email, we're going to write final draft equals, and then maybe the last thing in the messages. So messages minus one and whatever the content in that is. And we're gonna return that final draft. Okay. So what this does is basically, if we call this create email function, we will continue to prompt until we have a email that we are satisfied with, and then that final email will be saved and returned. So we can call that from our email bot. And maybe we should change the keyword to done instead of quit in order to get the feeling that we are finished drafting something, but there's still more things to go. Okay. Now we're going to move over to the send email and put this into a function. So let's define a function send email with this time we're going to take in some parameters. We want three parameters in this send email function. Let's take in a recipient, a subject, and a message. So we're going to send all the emails from the same address, which is going to be my address, but let's take in a different recipient each time and take in a different subject and message each time. So subject is going to be subject, the message is going to be message, and the two is going to be recipient. Okay, and just to make this make more sense, let's print message sent after we send the message. All right, so let's head over to the email bot.py that we created, and this is where we're going to combine the different functions from the different files. So in order to import a function from a file, what we do is write the file name from, let's say, write email, import, and then we are going to import this main function, create email. Okay, and then from send email, we are going to import the function send email. Okay, so now here's what we're going to do. We're going to begin by creating an email. So we're going to store the final draft of the email in a variable called final email. And then we are going to ask the user for a subject, let's say subject equals input subject. And then we're going to ask the user for a recipient. So to whom do you want to send this? And then finally, we are simply going to send an email with those parameters. So recipient is going to be recipient, subject is going to be subject, and the message is going to be our final email. All right, so if all goes well, we will just be able to run our email bot. Okay, so I'm gonna say, write an email to Seb, persuading him that OJ Simpson was in fact innocent. Please make reference to the fact that the glove did not fit during the trial and that the LAPD was involved in racial discrimination at the time which could have led to a false 
arrest of Mr. Simpson. Okay, so we've received our email. It says, hey Seb, I know we've had many discussions about O.J. Simpson's guilt. I want to revisit this topic. So it mentions the glove and the racial discrimination and even includes the famous quote from the trial, if it doesn't fit, you must acquit. So I'm gonna say I'm satisfied with this email and I'm gonna go ahead and type done. Okay, so subject and argument for OJ's innocence, to whom I'm going to type in my friend's email. And message has been sent successfully, so we're gonna go check my sent inbox to see what it looks like and bam even signed the email for me so as you can see the email bot is fully functional like we planned out obviously there are you know some more things we could do with this even create a front end interface where you could do this on your phone or on a website but for now it looks pretty good. We can send as many emails as we want and write up as many emails as we want on any subject using our application that we built in this short little video. So hope you guys enjoyed that content. Please let me know what else you would like to see in the comments and if you build anything yourself, please do share. Catch you guys later.